Hey, my Pisces, this is Tara Bay with Flirty Savage Spirit. And this week we are going to look at, actually it looks like we're looking at your finances, your career, your money sector, because this is what's coming up heavily in your oracles here. It's, if you have contract, keep an open mind in finances and career. Um, there's a financial issue that is playing a factor in your love life. Um, your soulmate could differ from your usual type and expectations. So I actually feel like that this is more so literally about your finances and career. And there may be a contract or some type of legal agreement that could be coming your way, but it keep an open mind with it because it could differ from what you originally had anticipated for it to say, or either you could be blindsided, like didn't you manifest it, but the way that you were thinking that it was going to happen or visualizing the way that it was going to happen in your head, it could just come about in a different way like a different offer from somebody differently than what you originally expected especially if it's a job so say like if you apply for two different jobs or multiple jobs the one job that you actually thought that you was going to get hired from and was going to make you the best job offer it actually ends up coming from another company and that company's job offer ends up blowing out everyone else's so this is heavily involving a situation at your workplace, with your money, in your career, or just some kind of way where there's some money that's coming to you in inheritance, but keep an open mind because it may not just be something that you are thinking about right now. It could be something completely left field. So let's take a look into your romance sector for this week. What's going to be going on for Pisces this week? Let's see. And while I'm at it, let's just go ahead and tell you I'm new here. Can you like, share, subscribe so I can, you know, become me a old whole live YouTube reader on the for real, for real? Not just playing. Like, can I give me an unexpected contract? <laughs> okay, so let's look at your overall energy between you and your person right now. It seems to be that there's some shaky ground that's here. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse as far as your overall energy here. So this is something of where there is not a happy home. Either the family is not happy about this situation, not happy with your pick, or either there was not a balance in giving to the situation. So there's definitely seemed to be some uneasiness that's in uh, the energy between you and your person. For you, we have the Ten of Swords, the Strength card, and then the Five of Cups is in reverse. So there seems to be like this sense of like, I'm in my, I'm in my strength. I'm in my willpower. Like, um, I'm sorry, sir, ma'am. Did you really think that I was going to be regretting my decision of leaving you? How dare you? The audacity of you, because this thing right here is over for me. Like I am done. You stabbed me in my back one too many times. And this is like done for me. I'm standing in my strength, my power. I want a passionate relationship. I want someone, see how she's holding on to the Bambi. Like I want someone to actually that's going to comfort me. Not this foolishness that you was over here offering me with this reverse 10 of Pentacles. Like, um, I'm sorry, but you got me fucked up. <laughs> so it seems like that you're kind of checking out of this situation. Your partner's or your person in mind's um, energy is like Knight of Wands in reverse. I do read reversals, you guys. Um, the Death in reverse and then the Two of Wands in reverse. So this tells me that they could possibly be a Scorpio, but they also could be a, a fire sign that's here. So they are upset that they made a wrong decision. It just seems like that they could have been choosing between two different pathways. It could have been you and another person or to stay in your state and leave or just something to where this person made a decision. And the decision that they made was some bullshit. <laughs> and I feel like that they are regretting this decision because they're not letting it go. You know, with this death in reverse, they're still holding on to it here. So, and then, and it's like he's he's wanting him or she's like wanting to, you know, gallop back to you guys or either gallop back and try to undo this decision that's here. But it's like what's done is done. So either you gonna come with me 
to this good old good contract for this divorce. <laughs> if you guys was actually married, um, especially represented here with this 10 of Pentacles in reverse, either you come on and get me this, this good old contract, this good old divorce that I've been looking for. They got them numbers that I need for it to have on it because I'm not taking you back. Like who thought that? You couldn't have like, sir, do you not, sir, ma'am, do you not remember what you did to Pisces? Like, absolutely not. As the outcome, we have the Empress in reverse. So unfortunately, this week, it does look like that there is some separations, some divorcing, some breakups, some you can get your shit and leave and I don't fucking care. Don't bring your ass back here. Excuse all my profanity, but I felt like, like that's how it's coming from the gut. Like, you know, I'm done with this. So your overall energy in your romantic sector this week is definitely fuck you and fuck this shit. <laughs>